And just like that, we're back again. Uncle Bokow on the road again. And, and, we, and when we hit the road, we... Travel editions come along once in a while, okay? Uh, but anyways, guys, today we're going to be reviewing Melinda's Fire Roasted Garlic and Habanero. I have a breakfast burrito. I'm, I'm at Sheets. You know, the king of gas stations. Now, there's supposed to be a Buckeyes coming. It's not going to be in my town, but it's, it's not going to be too far away. You know we'll go on a sauce quest there and, and, and check it out. But for now, Sheets is the, uh, the move. So, uh, Melinda's Fire Roasted garlic and habanero we're gonna get rid of this because I already know how these are and it's, it's too hard to get it out there we go all right I'm Uncle Bokow So let's say this, it's got some heat to it, which is good, not burn your face off hot, but I can detect the heat pretty good. Yeah, I wouldn't consider it a mild sauce, I'd consider it the lower spectrum of medium, but it's a medium sauce, <clears throat> which is great. The taste on it's really good. <clears throat> I'm really impressed with these new Melinda sauces I've been trying. Um, I think we did the Mexicana, I liked. You know, the ghost pepper, I think I had the ghost before, but in the travel size. We'll do a solo bite too. Smash that like button. Yeah. All right, so anybody who watched the Prima Tally, there you go, the Prima Tally video. Uh, the seven day grow update video from yesterday, <clears throat> uh, one of the Prima Tally seeds did pop overnight. So, uh, nothing out of the chocolate Prima Tally yet. And those old KSLS seeds, I'm not sure how long they're going to take to pop up. I'm assuming they will. When you got seeds that are three, four years old, um, try the black tea method or, you know, don't use older seeds. Now, like I said before, I've had seeds that have popped after 14, even up to 21 days. <clears throat> they were old. That's got a nice burn to it. So this sauce is not, um, you know, it's not a face melter, but for a habanero sauce, I'd have to say this one has more heat than any of the other Melinda's habanero sauces that I've had. The garlic, the triple X hot. This is definitely hotter than the triple X hot. Uh, the original, a few other ones in there. But yeah, I like it. I would suggest it. Uh, for a dollar now some people have been getting these on sale for 50 cents even 25 cents so well worth it definitely worth it take a couple of them throw them in your glove compartment um in your pocket, in your backpack, whatever. <clears throat> when you're out somewhere like this, where they've got these really good breakfast burritos, but the only sauce you can get is some packets of Texas Pete, uh, which, you know, they work if you need to use them. But why ruin a perfectly good breakfast burrito with a sauce like that? And Texas Pete packets and stuff, that's for fried chicken. It's not for breakfast burritos. You know? 
This right here is the breakfast burrito sauce, okay? Yeah, really good. <clears throat> By the way, I get the, uh, comment below if you've ever had sheets. <clears throat> um, I don't eat sheets often. When I do, I get a breakfast burrito. Eggs, bacon, jalapenos, nacho cheese, mini tater tots, and shredded cheddar. It's always, it's always good. Yeah. I got a nice little burn going from it. I hope everybody's well out there today. Um, yep, seed starting, pepper season has begun. You know, it's kind of a pain getting up every morning. And listen, I take really good care of my plants. You guys see the little squirt bottle I use to water each cell? Give it the perfect amount of water. Why is that? Well, I just seen on Facebook a couple of friends yesterday that said they lost all their plants. They overwatered them. Uh, a lot of people, when these little things are in these cells, they will bottom water. Not for me, not for me. I don't care. Um, I did it one time and I actually, it was an extra tray. I had a whole tray of extra seeds. And so I knew what I was doing. Those were for one of my farmers. I was germinating for him and uh, you know, he, he didn't even need them that, that quick, but I was like, hey, let me, you know, I'll do an extra tray. And I said, all right, I'm gonna try bottom water. And, and what happens is when you bottom water, the whole, the, the, the soil or seed starter mix sucks up all that water that's in the bottom of that tray. And now what you have is something that is soaking wet. If you don't have the root structure to use up that much water, then what it's going to do is it's just going to sit there and be soaking wet. And that little tiny plant with them little roots, it does have those roots will just sit in that water and they will rot. Next thing you know, your plant turns yellow and you're on Facebook and groups asking people what's wrong. We see it all the time. The number one killer of uh, pepper seedlings is overwatering. Uh, and you get people that are like, do I have a nutrient deficiency? It's like, Gosh, no, man. I mean, you got to figure the pepper seed has its own nutrients in it to feed that seedling. Plus you're using, unless you're going with straight vermiculite, but if you're using a soil or a uh, potting mix seed starter, whatever, that stuff has got some nutrients in it, man, to make those little plants last. And so you're not going to see seedlings that are two, three, four weeks old, even five or six weeks old that will have a nutrient deficiency. It's just not gonna happen. And you'll see some pepper experts that'll be telling them, oh yeah, maybe give it a little bit of CalMag or give it some, um, some you know, bat guano, earthworm castings and <clears throat> all this stuff. And then these people have something that's already overwatered and they're putting more water in it, you know? It's not gonna work. So it's a little bit of a pain the way I do it, you know, every day kind of just babying each plant, but uh, that's always worked for me. I've never had any problems. Like I said, I overwintered, uh, overwintered, overwatered one tray before. And so I've got a, a, a pretty good track record with that. So I, I always try to show people my method and say, hey, this has worked fine for me for years. Um, yeah, it's crazy. One time, it's, one time I took a bunch of habanero seeds out of a pepper. This was, I don't know, six, seven years ago and there was an empty terracotta pot sitting outside and uh and i put the seeds in there and left it and then it poured rain out right and that terracotta pot just was like this there's this much water in it and uh so i figured the seeds were shot but what was weird was i never watered it after that well that thing held water for so long and moisture eventually the seeds did take off i go out look out there one day out of the blue it was just out back on a little shelf and there was like 50 seedlings just in a cluster a cluster just a, just a clump of them so all right guys enough about the seedlings the fire roasted garlic and habanero sauce from melinda's it's uh definitely well worth a dollar comment below let me know if you've had this and let me know also what your favorite melinda's sauce is uncle bokow freaking loves you what